Bonjour, French 2 students. Here is your unit Cis en track, pages 300 to 305 in your textbook. Again, I would like you to follow along in your textbook. Achète par Internet. So, purchases by the Internet. En France, comme aux États-Unis, on peut faire beaucoup d'achats par Internet. Ces vêtements figurent sur le catalogue en ligne de la Redoute, une compagnie française spécialisée dans la vente de vêtements par correspondance. So, in France, as in the United States, one can make a lot of purchases used by the Internet. These clothes appear... Um, on the online catalog of the Redou, a French company specializing in the sale of clothes by mail order. Maillot de foot, 100% polyester, couleur bleu et rouge, prix 55 euros. Sweat col V, 80% coton. 20% polyester, couleur jaune clair, bordeaux, bleu, bleu marine, prix 45 euros. T-shirt, 100% coton, couleur bordeaux, bleu, bleu marine, prix 30 euros. So, we have a soccer jersey, 100% polyester, colors blue and red, price 55 euros. A V neck sweatshirt, 80% cotton, 20% polyester, colors light yellow, maroon, blue, and navy blue, price 45 euros. T shirt, 100% cotton, colors maroon, blue, and navy blue. Price, 30 euros. Pool, 80% lin, 20% polyamide, couleur bleu clair, beige, prix 65 euros. Survêtement, 100% polyester, couleur beige et gris foncé, prix 60 euros. Polo, 80% Cans, percent cotton, 5% lycra, couleur beige, gris, vert, prix 25 euros. So, a sweater, 80% cotton, colors light blue and beige, price 65 euros. A sweatsuit, 100% polyester, colors beige and dark gray, price 60 euros. Polo shirt, 95% cotton, 5% lycra, colors beige, gray, green, price 25 euros. Les gens français et la mode, so French young people and fashion. Est-ce que vous aimez être à la mode? Où est-ce que vous achetez vos vêtements? Et qu'est-ce qui compte le plus pour vous? Le style, la qualité, le prix? Nous avons posé ces questions à cinq gens français. Voilà leur réponse. So, do you like to be in fashion? Where do you buy your clothes? And what is it that counts the most for you? Style, quality, price? We asked these questions to five young French people. Here are their responses. Florence says on. J'aime être à la mode. Malheureusement, mon budget est limité. La solution? Le samedi après-midi, je travaille dans une boutique de mode. Là, je peux acheter mes jupes et mes poules à des prix très avantageux. Pour le reste, je compte de la générosité de mes parents. So Florence is 16. I like to be in fashion. Unfortunately, my budget is limited. The solution? 
Saturday afternoons, I work in a fashion store. There, I can buy my skirts and my sweaters at advantageous prices. For the rest, I count on the generosity of my parents. Chloe Kenzel, pour moi le style c'est tout. Hélas, la mot n'est pas mon marché. Heureusement, j'ai une cuisine qui a une machine à coudre et qui est très adroite. Alors, nous coussons des rubans et des patchs sur nos vêtements. De cette façon, nous créons notre propre style. C'est génial, no? So, Chloe, who's 15, for me, the style, it's everything. Unfortunately, fashion is not cheap. Fortunately, I have a female cousin who has a sewing machine and who is very skillful. So, we sew ribbons and patches on our clothes. In this way, we create our own style. It's terrific. No? Julien, 14 ans. Vous connaissez le proverbe, l'habit ne fait pas le moi? Ou bien, pour moi, les vêtements n'ont pas d'importance. Avec mon argent, je préfère acheter des CD. Quand j'ai besoin de J ou de T-shirt, je vais au pouce. C'est pas cher et c'est marron. Julian, who's 14. You know the proverb, clothes don't make the man? Well, for me, the clothes are not important. With my money, I prefer to buy CDs. When I need jeans or t-shirts, I go to the flea market. It's not expensive and it's fun. Robert Canzon. Aujourd'hui, la présentation extérieure est très importante, mais il n'est pas nécessaire d'être à la mode pour être bien habillé. Pour moi, la qualité des vêtements est aussi importante que leur style. En général, j'attends les sols, j'achète peu de vêtements, mais je fais attention à la qualité. Robert, who's 15. Today, the exterior presentation is very important. But it is not necessary to be in fashion to be well-dressed. For me, the quality of the clothes is as important as their style. In general, I wait for sales. I buy a few clothes, but I pay attention to the quality. Eric Duzon, moi, je n'ai pas le choix. C'est ma mère qui choisit mes vêtements. En ce qui concerne la mot, elle n'est pas dans le coup. Elle achète tout sur catalogue et elle choisit ce qui est le moins cher. C'est pas drôle. Eric, who's 12. Me, I don't have the choice. It's my mom who chooses my clothes. As for fashion, she is not with it. She buys everything online and she chooses whatever is the least expensive. It's not funny. Look at the strategy reading, understanding casual French speech. The interviews you read were conducted orally. Notice how casual French speech is different from standard written language. Spoken language often contains slang expression. Elle n'est pas dans le coup, c'est marrant, c'est génial. Spoken French sometimes drops the ne in ne pas. C'est pas cher, ce n'est pas cher. All right, les sold. En France, les boutiques de vêtements ont des sold deux fois par an. Les dates de ces sold sont déterminées par le gouvernement et sont les mêmes dans tous les pays. Au moment des sold, on peut acheter des vêtements de bonne qualité à des prix avantageux. So, about sales. In France, clothing stores have sales two times per year. The dates of these sales are determined by the government and are the same in the whole entire country. During the sales, one can buy clothes of good quality at advantageous prices. Bonjour Fatima. Je m'appelle Fatima et j'ai 15 ans. J'habite dans la banlieue de Paris. 
Mes parents sont généreux, mais ils ne sont pas très riches. Alors, je n'ai pas beaucoup d'argent de poche, 50 euros par mois. Ce n'est pas une fortune. Heureusement, je fais du babysitting pour les voisins quand ils vont au cinéma le, le week-end. Je gagne 5 euros par heure. J'adore les vêtements. Avec ma copine Jamila, on achète des magazines de mots et on va dans les magasins. Quand on entre dans une boutique, c'est généralement plus pour regarder que pour acheter. J'achète mes nouveaux poules pendant la période des sauts. Par contre, j'achète assez souvent des bracelets et des bousses dorées. On trouve des choses géniales dans les petites boutiques de mon quartier. Quand je veux changer de look, je change des bousses dorées et je change de vernis à ongles et de rouge à lèvres. C'est facile et ça ne coûte pas cher. Hello, Fatima. My name is Fatima and I'm 15 years old. I live in the suburbs of Paris. My parents are generous, but they are not very rich. So I don't have a lot of pocket money, 50 euros per month. It's not a fortune. Fortunately, I babysit for the neighbors when they go to the movies on weekends. I earn five euros per hour. I love clothes. With my friend Jamila, we buy fashion magazines and we go in the stores. When we enter in a store, it's generally more to look than to buy. I buy my new sweaters during the sales period. On the other hand, I buy rather often bracelets and earrings. One finds terrific things in the small stores of my neighborhood. When I want to change the, my look, I change my earrings, I change earrings and I change nail polish and lipstick. It's easy and it doesn't cost a lot or it's not expensive. Pronom arabe, Fatima and Jamilia sont des jeunes filles d'origine magiribine. Elles portent des noms typiquement arabes. Le Majrab est une région géographique constituée par le Maroc, l'Algérie et la Tunisie. 4 millions de Français sur une population totale de 60 millions sont d'origine marigibine. Beaucoup parlent arabe et pratiquent la région musulmane. So, Arabic first names. Fatima and Jamilia are young girls of um, Majerabine origin. They have typical Arabic names. Um, the Majorab is a geographic region constituated or made of Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia. Four million French people in a total population of 60 million are of Majorine origin. A lot of them speak Arabic and practice the Muslim religion. L'Algérie est un pays d'Afrique du Nord, colonie française pendant plus de cent ans. L'Algérie est devenue indépendante en 1962. La majorité des Algériens sont arabes et pratiquent la région musulmane. Des millions d'Algériens ont immigré en France et sont devenus français. Pour cette raison, la France est maintenant le pays avec la plus grande population musulmane d'Europe. La présence algérienne influence la vie ordinaire des Français. Par exemple, les Français mangent du couscous, qui est une spécialité de Afrique du Nord, et beaucoup de gens écoutent le ré, qui est une musique d'origine algérienne. En bref, l'Algérie, population 32 millions, capitale Alger, 
langue arabe berbère foncée. So, in brief about Algeria, it has a population of 32 million. Its capital is Alger, and the languages are Arabic, Barber, Barber, and French. Algeria is a country of North Africa. A French colony for more than 100 years, Algeria became independent in 1962. The majority of Algerians are Arabic and practice the Muslim religion. Millions of Algerians have immigrated in France and have become French. For this reason, France is now the country with the largest Muslim population of Europe. The Algerian presence influences the ordinary life of the French. For example, the French eat couscous, which is a specialty of North Africa, and a lot of young people listen to ray, which is a music of Algerian origin. And you see underneath there, it tells you about couscous. Couscous is a type of semolina, white gritty wheat, which is usually cooked with meat and vegetables as a main dish, but which can also be steamed and served cold in salads. So your homework is on pages 296 and 297. This is the test to control. By taking the following test, you can check your progress in French and also prepare for the unit test. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Exercise 1, the right item. Give the names of the following items of clothing using the appropriate article, un, un, or de. Dans ce magasin, il y a. All you need to write on your paper is what goes in the blank. So, for example, for number 1, which is a jacket, you would write un, Blouson. De. The right activity. Complete each of the following sentences with the appropriate forms of the verbs in the box. Be logical in your choice of verb and do not use the same word more than once. So this is a two-part activity. Number one, right? Which verb goes where based on its meaning? And the second part is that you have to conjugate or make that verb agree with the subject of the sentence. So remember, amene means to bring, specifically to bring a person. Aporte means to bring, but to bring a thing. Atondre is to wait. Entendre is to hear. Grossir is to gain weight or to get fat. Porte is to wear. Rendre visite is to visit, specifically to visit a person. Répondre is to answer or respond. Réussir is to succeed or to pass. And trouvé is to find. So, for example, number one, Philippe blank c'est CD à la boom. So Philippe, something, his CDs to the party, he brings. So what I'd like you to write is the subject, and you can even just say like il, and then the verb. So apporte is the verb, and to spell it correctly, it's apport. All right, so for number deux, you would say l. Caroline Blank, sa nouvelle robe. Caroline something, her new dress. Okay. She's wearing, so it's porte, and so it would be port. So that's what you're going to write on your paper is the subject and then the verb conjugated correctly. Toi, the right form. Complete the following sentences with the appropriate forms of beau, nouveau, and vieux. Be logical in your choices. So remember, beau means handsome or good looking. Nouveau means new, and vieux means old. Um, what I'd like you to do with this one is um, you can just write what goes in the blank. So number one, we have dans ce quartier moderne, il y a beaucoup de blank immeuble. So in this modern neighborhood, there are a lot of something apartment buildings. So it's probably new. And de immeuble is masculine and plural. So it's nouveau. with the X on it. Number two, ma grand-mère a 82 ans, elle est. So my grandmother 
has is 82 years old. She is old, and my grandmother is feminine and singular, so it's VA. So you're just writing what goes in the blanks. Number four, the right comparison. Make a logical comparisons using the adjectives in parentheses. Okay, for this one, you're going to have to write out the whole sentence. So number one, we have La France et blank les États-Unis, and we have grown. So La France is not as big. So La France est moins, and then because France is feminine, I have to put an E on my grand to make it feminine. Okay. Que les etats uni. So notice in the blank, I put moi grand que, right? And so if it's not moi, it's going to be plus or aussi, your adjective, and then que. Remember, this adjective is agreeing with whatever this noun is here that comes first. And remember that plus, plus bon, right, that's irregular, and it becomes meilleur. So you're writing the whole sentences for exercise four. Exercise five, ce ou cat or cal. Complete the following sentences with the appropriate forms of se or kel. Remember, se is the demonstrative adjective that means this or that. Kel me is the interrogative adjective that means which or what. So you're going to typically use kel in questions and se in statements. So um, for this, I'd like you to write what goes in the blank and then the word that comes after it. So number one, we have blue son prefer to. So something jacket do you prefer? So it's which and blue son is masculine and singular. So it's kel. Blue son. Number two, j'aime blank lunettes. I like something lunettes, but I wouldn't say which, so I would say these. So it's say lunettes. Right? So you're writing like that for the eight of those. Exercise cease the right verb. Complete the following sentences with the appropriate forms of the verbs in parentheses. So for this one, again, you're going to write what goes before the blank and then what goes in the blank. So number one for Ashte, you're going to write Jachette News Ashton and then Keska to Ashet. So you're writing the subject and then the verb for each of these. Exercise set, composition ad mariage. Imagine that you are a reporter for a society column of your local newspaper. You are attending an elegant wedding. Describe what the following people are wearing. La mariée, the bride. Le marié, le, the groom. And les demoiselles d'honneur, the bridesmaids. Be imaginative, but, but use only vocabulary and expressions that you know in French. So look at that strategy writing. This is to kind of help you get ready to write it, right? So for each of the following, list the clothes and their colors. And then write three short paragraphs describing what each person is wearing. Okay, I would like you to write two sentences. Per person. Which equals six sentences total. Au revoir, à demain.